scrabbling a bit. meat. speak. Aloy, let us speak. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's... Louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. 
I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. And you. Proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again. If you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Wait, Aloy, you didn't take the outfit I made you. Go on. It's yours.
seems to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Sorry about that. Climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Get down from there, now! Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head! What I want is for you to climb down! What you want is for me to have no fun at all! Fine! Stay up on the roof all night if you want! Yeah, I will! Who climbs better than me? Listen <laughs> carefully now. Oh, like but this you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life came from all I'm of high matriarch lands around people. We should leave these cards outside to lose our sick. All land. were her children. They lived alongside. I won't each let the cards of faith stop me from enjoying the best of race. Can't they do now? Some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided. I wasn't drunk when I ran the proving. I'm out of one. Now, but you'll have to tell us when I'm gone. In the Aloy, over here. Karst, what are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. And wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. I'll give you my best prices, I promise. See you later, Karst. Good luck. 
All right, let's do this. Next. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Arts. and slavers! Uh, hey, hey, Luminance hold your fruit, Nora, uh, Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster, he raided my tribe for blood sacrifice just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology, straight from the lips of the 14th King. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude, written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> Evil of the Nora. On the eve of your proving, no, the Karja He's wearing a focus, the Karja. Just like mine. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. <laughs> Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids, and who can blame them?
I wanted to ask you something else. If you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Who are the Osaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh. I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous. So long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. And if that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Well, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away. And now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. 
So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. Tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hear it, fifth when a hunter came at, so it was hard to take, but then the derange now when a hunter fires a shot, the machine's a few more years back, if that wasn't bad enough. Like the sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. So what's making it happen? Uh, no one knows. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life-takers and machine-breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, it looks like a pretty even match. What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that Blessing thing, too, so... Uh... See you around, maybe? We shouldn't let these Karja outsiders go. Blessing when all aspirants are in place. Uh, oh! Expecting more tomatoes? Uh, in truth, I, I thought they were throwing stones. Stones hit a lot harder. You'd know the difference. If you wish to speak, we should do so after the ceremony. I'd rather not hold things up, or do anything else that angers these people. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light it's flame. This is for me. For all I did to make it here. And the answers I'll get after I win the proving. All oh, Mother, hear our prayer! What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love.
Looks like a strong field for recruiting. There's Olin. All mothers. I have some questions for him. After all. You never know. The outcast might be. Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil, forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl! I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking, that's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court, that's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. This is for the goddess to judge the Karja, not me. The past should be left in the past. Of course, boss is going to. Just look at it. They're really good. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're... you're very present here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Ah, oh, this beer's uh, all the way from Mother's Crown. It goes down smooth, it does. Where's your bite, outcast? Or did you need my permission to speak in the presence of a Are true Are you gonna mirror? let boss talk to you that way? I wouldn't. This is your battle to fight, not mine. We saw you talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? 
This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the Proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah. The look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, Outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. I'm here for the proving, that's it. Leave me alone. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So? Your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Comforts and distractions, that's what I think. Not all comforts are bad. Comforts are weakness. You sound just like my mother. You can always go back to living in the wilds if you have to. In the meantime, get some rest. yourselves what will it take to get you out of here looks like a grazer
<laughs> Your trophy is shattered, outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No way but forward Just now. Stop right there. Just turn around and Who's climb. Lead? I can't no see! Go no. follow right behind. Come on now! Faster! Stop dragging. We've gotta keep going. The On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. The outcast coming up. How'd she get up there? She is a brave now. We did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast. And now brave. Who is first among us. <laughs> Oh, mother, help us! 
They're too strong! We can't stop them! Kill them all! No witnesses, no survivors! Don't give up! Oh no! There's more! They keep coming! How many are there? Descend while we have a chance. Get back! Everyone! Forward! 
on, brothers. Let's get it.
dying. There is blasphemy! She should be near her mother. have found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? <sighs> my clothes. Good. But where's my focus? Jerks are allowed inside. I... I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus, the one I took off that... killer. Where are they? Some kind of signal. It looks like the ruins I fell into when I was young. The Nora didn't build this place. The old ones did. But why? There, with the rest of my things. It must be the damaged focus, the one I took from that killer. It's close. The 
and make it quick. I'm heading in. Hold for identity scan. You need to stop listening to Ted and start listening to me. Who's this from? To the place where you were born. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. like me, but with short hair. I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. I'm... What? What are you talking about? Come. Is this place? The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the metal devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lanzra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. Another? <gasps> oh! Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No. No. spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, 
the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? Shh. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe is on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. Uh, how was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now, the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy, as though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other high matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Aloy, by the holy grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. can go anywhere at all. No restrictions. Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight, or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Why are the ruins of the metal world forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked, like the children of metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder All Mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. 
It looked a lot like the inside of All Mother. That cannot be so. It is. Then, this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called Tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the Seeker Blessing will protect you. Have there been other Seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a Seeker? No, not a Seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. What was done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you. With flowers on the grave. Thank you. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, Make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all mother bless you and watch over you. Nora Faithful, we will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. When we hear the matriarchs lift their voices, we will join ours to theirs. Uh, if, if, if we sing the hymn sweetly, surely the God The outcast girl. So she survived her wounds. Need them soon enough. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. I can feel the ground softening up. I need the gate opened. Then you'll have to talk to the new war chief, Resh. Hop on the wall. He was such a fool. I told him it was too dangerous. I told him. Never know when I might need these.
Uh, the outcast approaches. Aloy! Ignore her. Aloy! Continue the report. Temp? There are rumors All of mother be praised. Uh, You're you know, alive. Dark metal that corrupts every machine it touches. I heard the rumors, but come? I didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. <sighs> I'm glad to see you're okay. And you're even wearing the tunic I stitched for you. I'm honored. What sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded. Expected to die. And then, High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Huh. That caused a stir. Only matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain. But... You deserve the honor. The survivors had told everyone how you fought to save them. I wasn't the only one to fight. No. They spoke of Bast and Vala, too. And Rost, the man who raised me. He... He fought to save me, and... He died for it. The survivors didn't speak of him. But I remember him. He was there that day when you saved me. I remember he stepped in front of you when my father started yelling. If by dying he saved your life, Aloy, I don't think he regretted it. I need the gate opened. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is out there? I need to pass through. <laughs> You'll have to talk to Resh then, up on the wall. He's the new war chief. I'm not sure he'll help you. What's the danger in the embrace? Are the killers still there? No. They're long gone. The war party went after them, but the killers slaughtered them. They have some evil power over the machines. They corrupt them, make them fight at their side. And these corrupted machines, they're loose in the embrace? Some have broken through. And from what I hear, it's even worse outside the embrace. Believe me, this is no time to go traveling. Why wouldn't Resh help me? Well, he says... mean things about you. That I'm a motherless curse, an outcast, that sort of thing? Yeah. I wish he hadn't been made war chief, but Sona disappeared after the ambush. They say she went after the killers all by herself. Who is Sona? Sona was the tribe's war chief, but she went missing after the war party was ambushed. You probably saw her at Mother's Heart, a tall, lean woman with dark skin and long white hair. Her daughter ran in the proving, but she died. Was Vala her daughter? Yes, she was. I liked her. So did I. What are you doing here with a bow and spear, Teb? You're a stitcher, not a brave. Most of our braves are dead or wounded, Aloy. Someone has to defend Mother's Watch, so... I thought I'd help out. I should be okay. Just as long as I don't try to run any brave trails, right? I should be on my way, Teb. May all Mother go with you.
I should be out hunting. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You? A seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the sacred mountain? <sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. How can you be so heartless? I fought beside those children, shoulder to shoulder and back to back. I saw them fall. If even one of them had been true, Nora, they would have put an arrow in your back. Resh, come on. Silence! I am your war chief. And I am a seeker anointed by the High Matriarchs. So open the gate, and I will be on my way. <sighs> the sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that? Get in position. Here it comes. Attack! Watch the striders! It's driven them mad! <laughs>
you do it? Show me. <clears throat> you made them obey you. How? This. You did it with this. It's connecting to my focus. Then I could use this. It's worth a shot. Couple loops of wire. Looks like it'll hold. I just need to test it. Aloy! How did you do that? You killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I've figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Resh says. <sighs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. The Karja border is sealed. Braves! I want that gate repaired immediately! I don't care if you have to bandage it together. I still can't believe what you did to that demon. What will it take to get you out of here? I need to test this device, see what it can do. that away. Striders. I can test the override device now. Should go in quiet and go through all of this to learn if trampled by a frightened herd. Okay. <laughs> 
Here it goes. Come on, come on. Nice and quiet. It worked. It's not hostile. Seems almost tame. I think I could write it. Like it? Yeah! 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 Ride! <laughs> this strider is fast! <laughs> this beats walking! Try overriding other kinds of missions. Probably can't ride them all, but I might find a use for them. yourselves bring it closer closer varo i take it <sighs> aloy the outcast who won the proving so you survived your wounds. High Matriarch Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the Karja Sundom? You seek exile? No. A traitor named Olin. The Matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. Huh. Well, then you should head north to Mother's Crown. If you make it, talk to Morea. She'll point the way. If I make it? The trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go unpatrolled, and our borders unguarded. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh. Only because Sona went missing. I'd go after her myself, but she ordered me to hold this gate with my life. And so I have. You said the trail is dangerous. What sorts of dangers? <laughs> Almost too many to name. The killers are still out there, and somehow they've corrupted the machines, spreading madness. Yes, I've seen it myself. Bandits, too. Cutthroats who snuck across the border to prey on us. The word is, there's a camp in the metal ruins upriver. Sounds like I need to craft more arrows. You said the war party was massacred. How? <sighs> when word came of the attack on the Proving, War Chief Sona assembled a war party to give chase. But in their haste to get vengeance, some braves broke rank and raced ahead, straight into a trap. A pack of crazed machines, seething with corruption, fell upon the braves and savaged them. War Chief Sona led a countercharge and destroyed the machines, but by then the killers were gone, and our losses were extreme. You said I won the Proving. How did you know that? I spoke to survivors. They said you fought bravely, as did Bast. And my sister. Your sister was Vala? 
I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I liked her. I think we might have even become friends if we'd had a chance. Thank you. She died saving others. There is no better death. You said War Chief Sona is missing? Even when the war party was massacred, she wouldn't give up the chase. She called for volunteers and went after the killers. You didn't volunteer? Of course I did. But Sona denied me that. She ordered me to see the wounded back to the embrace. And to guard this gate. To guard the embrace. With my life. That was days ago. And since then there's been no word from her. So there's no way to know if she's alive or dead. If anyone could survive out there, it would be her. Sona's prowess is legend. An unbending spear to measure ourselves against. Sounds like she sets a high standard. Oh, you have no idea. She's my mother. I should be on my way. Aloy, before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her leadership. Now, I'd go after her myself if she hadn't commanded me to hold this gate at all costs. Where was she last seen? The war party massacre site. A wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst, on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. Now, she went after the killers who attacked the Proving, who killed those we love, who tried to kill you, and- I, I get it, Varl. I'll see what I can do. A strider! Uh, no, no, don't attack. It's with me. How is that possible? It's hard to explain. It's something I discovered. I see. Hunting ground. Ross said there's good machine hunting across the river.
My focus is picking up some kind of signal. Maybe I can scan it. There's danger ahead, girl. Danger for you, Outlander. This is Noraland. Yes, yes, yes. Trespass is forbidden on pain of death. Strange phrase, the pain of death. See? This one's in no pain at all. Who was he? A thief. Slaver, a killer. The kind that give honest killers a bad name. <sighs> Fral told me there would be bandit ambushes on the road. Well, it's not all good news. They don't always come to you. Most dig out a camp, and there they'll sit like spoil on meat. Unless someone does something about it? I like you. Follow the trail of smoke on the other side of the ruins. I'll be there. Devil's thirst. A study of the old ones. Of the metal world. Signal for my focus. Thank <laughs> you. 
machine yet. I need to find a way to learn. I need to get up there. Save these for the trail. Spotted. up to its head.
looks good. Spoke of a bandit camp and some metal ruins. That must be the place there. Best to keep an eye out around here. I'm glad you came. You're glad? Why? Call it a shared interest. And call me Nil. Look there, those old rocks. A bandit clan squats under them. Disturb the rocks and they'll come wriggling out. Worms that they are. Bandits. Why have they come here? The Nora are in trouble. And rumors spread like blood. With no braves to guard the border, killers hungry for sport slip right through. My partner and I shadowed these scum for days. Good tracker, but he went on ahead without me. We talked about this kind of behavior. Still, I understand. Leave it too long, your fingers itch for the bowstring. Say, how about you and I work together? Kill them all. I don't know you. And I have no reason to trust you. Trust is a rare egg to find, isn't it? I'm just a traveler, with a bow, concerned about the state of these lands, and a missing partner. 
I don't think you're just anything at all. Hmm. Let me put it another way. Are you abandoned? <laughs> of course not. Then you have nothing to fear from. All right. Someone has to stop them from hurting others. And we will. We'll stop them from doing anything. Safe screaming. Go ahead and take the lead. I look forward to seeing what you're capable of. That's the alarm. Let them sound it and more will come with me. It's a gift. And if you're the heroic kind who needs a little extra, there's the captives. Sharp and looming in the rain. your face so I can slice it off. get to it. Too blasted jumpy.
sat in the tall grass. Whose body is that? We got a stiff over here. Nothing there, idiot. Might be something up there. Rennie got the wrong end of a lance horn last week. Only a few chunks of them left. Don't mind me. Dead! Now what? Don't fight, why don't you run on home? Must have been the wind. Move along now.
Somebody just killed one of us. Calling in reinforcements. Looks like I'm clear. Hmm. I'm going in. Huh? the signal! See where they've caged up the captives.
speaker. May I speak with you? Seeker, would you lower yourself to speak with me? I'm honored. I... All mother be praised. Are you alright? Is there something you need? Yes. My friends and I watched you clear the bandits out of this camp. We're glad. They would steal from us. Chase us through the night laughing. We're outcasts, not braves. Almost defenseless. Where did you all come from? Some of us have wandered the sacred lands for years. As for me, the village I grew up in was burned in the Red Raids. I'm ashamed I wasn't there to protect them, but I was an outcast long before the Karja came. How did you all come to be here together? You wonder how we speak to each other when the law forbids it. 
But what hope do we have here, outside the embrace, alone? I wasn't judging you. I was an outcast once. Forgive me. You're right to ask. I convinced them to speak. I told them we were only sentenced to be outcast, not to die out here. An intelligent approach. How did you come to be an outcast? I was a fool. I refused to do what I was told. Never went hunting when I could sit under a tree instead. I argued with my family every step, picked fights with other braves. One day, such a fight grew fierce. I got a lucky hit, an unlucky one. He went down, and there was no one left to speak for me. I deserve to be an outcast. You seem different from the person you describe. I hope to be. We are all outcasts, but we need to stay together to survive. This camp we once hated could serve us well now. Would you let us stay here, even if it flies in the face of the Matriarch's laws? Of course, by all means. Oh, I'd hoped you'd say so. You... you're an inspiration to us. Thank you. Feels good, doesn't it? Hold it inside you one last breath. Then let it out. Ugh. I didn't find your partner. They killed him. I hardly feel surprised. He was already getting cocky when we carved through the last bandit camp. I thought he and I would agree. Only enjoy the killing as much as the challenge. No great loss. Nothing in the wilds I can't handle. Just me and the voice of our teeth here. Your bow has a name? Worse does it? You're not just a traveler. That armor was fitted for you, and the way you hold your bow. I said a concern was traveler. I was a soldier, but I was a soldier longer than there was a war, if you follow. And where the arrowhead passes between armor and skin, that's the place I belong. So I make opportunities to find it. It's like coming home. Have you ever thought about hunting machines? No, they don't get that look in their eyes. Did bandits wrong you somehow? They wrong us all. They live filthy lives, so they have to die that way too. So you hunt them down to help others? No, no. For school. I can't wait for wars anymore. Life's too short and the thrill of death too sharp. If you kill a tribesman, I'll do retribution. Hunt a boar, they complain if you waste the meat. But bandits, they're vicious. They always put up a fight, and no one cares if you kill them. I guess you're doing the right thing for the wrong reason. I'm doing what I love, and what could be wrong with that? We're done here. Here? I'm afraid so. But we live in a world of ruins, and bandits are drawn to them like infection to a wound. You wouldn't let that infection set in, would you? I'm sure we'll meet again. Maybe. If it can't be helped. If we pass each other by, we'll know it by hope.
They're giving up. 